up mga pre? So now we're gonna talk about the Earth system. <laughs> Okay, so what is Earth Subsystem? Earth Subsystem is everything in Earth System can be placed into one of the four major subsystem. First is the land, water, living things, or air. These four subsystems are called sphere, especially they are the lithosphere, the land, hydrosphere, the water, the biosphere, the living things, and the last is the atmosphere or the air. The first one is the lithosphere. It was pierced the rigid, rocky outer layer of the earth, consisting of the crust and the solid utmost layer of the upper mantle. It extends to a deep about 60 miles to 100 km. It is broken into about a dozen separate rigid blocks or plates or the plate tectonics. Slow convention currents deep within the mantle generated by the radio active heating of the interior and believed to cause the lateral movement of the plates at the rate of several inches per year. The next one is the biosphere. Relatively thin life supporting stratum of Earth's surface extending from a few kilometers into a few atmosphere to a deep sea vents of the ocean. The biosphere is the global ecosystem composed of living organisms or the biota and the biotic in the non-living factors from which they derive energy and nutrients. The next one is the hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is the water component of planet Earth. It includes all water vapor in the atmosphere, all liquids, fresh water in the sea water, in streams, in the river and ocean, as well as the subterranean groundwater in well and aquifers, and all solid water for the ice and permanent snow in the circosphere held in ice sheets, ice caps, glaciers, and frozen ground from a frost. Water itself is the life most basic building rock. The one reason extraterrestrial life always focuses in the first local water. It is also the clear influence of the earth climate system in the air or in the land as well as in the sea. For example, it is a major carbon severe and absorbs the vast majority of the all excess heat. Unfortunately, as global warming intensifies, they are concerned that the hydrosphere will be unable to continue in the supportive role. And the last one is the atmosphere. Atmosphere is the gas and the aerosol in the envelope that extend from the ocean, land, and the ice-covered surface of the planet outward in space. The density of the atmosphere decreases outward because of the gravitational attraction of the planet, which pulls the gases and aerosols or the microscope suspended particles of the soot, smoke, or chemicals. Inward, the grid is close to the surface. Atmosphere of some planetary bodies, such as a Mercury, are almost non existent. The primordial atmosphere has escaped the relative low gravitational attraction of the planet and has been released into space. The other planets are such as the Venus, Earth, Mars, and the giant outer planets of the solar system have obtained the atmosphere. In addition, Earth atmosphere has been able to contain what water in each of the three phases, the solid, liquid, and gas, which has been essential of the development of life on the planet. Woo! So guys, that's all for my vlogging. So what's up and bye!